So Derek, some are saying that you've now got past what's been a, a tough start to the season. How do you think it's gone so far? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, it's a tough season throughout the season, you know, 46 games, a lot of games, and um, we've only just started the campaign. We've got 11 points on the board, and we've got a game in hand, and uh, we've played uh, a number of teams that uh, are thought to have an opportunity of getting promoted this season, and uh, I think we've competed, you know, very well, and uh, put ourselves uh, in a good points total so far. Forest Green last season was an important away win, one of only a, a couple all season. Is it an opportunity to get that first away win this season as well? Yeah, I mean, both teams are trying to get that. Forest Green haven't won at home and uh, we haven't won away uh, from home this season or anyway. So uh, from our point of view, we'll try and go there exactly the same as our, our home games. We'll try and win it. A bit like Swindon Town with Charlie Austin, they've got Troy Deeney in their ranks, scored at the weekend. How important are those sort of very senior figures in, in a League Two team? Does, does, is it something you'd like to have? Yeah, I mean, I think that it's, it's uh, good for the football club, uh, for the team, for the staff, because to have any player that has played at the level the two you mentioned have done uh, can only be beneficial. Um, their ethos rubs off on the other players, their work rate, why they've played at the level they have done. Uh, and uh, I think that that's only beneficial to their football club. So in an ideal world where finances weren't an issue, is it something you'd like to have as part of your squad, that level of experience? Yeah, we would. I think that um, any club would like to, to have players of that calibre. Going back to the Swindon game, how impressive was it for the 10 men to come back like they did? Yeah, I mean, I thought we started the game very well. I thought we were, you know, right on top of it. We created a lot of good opportunities in the match, especially from uh, corner kicks uh, and, you know, good passing movements throughout the team. You know, our, our first goal was excellent. Um, we make 16 passes from the goalkeeper uh, and end up scoring, with, you know, with a Tom Blocks and cross for... Jake Taylor to get his first of the season at the back post, but uh, the 10 men then had to push on. Uh, we feel that uh, it wasn't uh, a penalty kick, it was outside the box, uh, and uh, the, the referee decided to give a penalty. But the 10 men were, were terrific, they worked exceptionally hard, and uh, you know, for Ethan Walker to come on and get his first goal uh, was, was fantastic for him. You made that whole tranche of substitutions in one go, including Ethan. Is that something you'd do again? Because it proved very effective this time, didn't it? Yeah, well, I hope I don't have to be in that situation too many times. But, you know, it, it, it gave us an opportunity. We took on five uh, players at the same time and it gave us a freshness. It gave us an impetus to go forward. And we could have gone on and won the game, you know, with the 10 players. But uh, I thought the fitness levels of the players were fantastic. And uh, the togetherness and willingness to go and equalise was there for everyone to see. Ethan Walker made quite an impression in his time on the pitch as well as his goal. Would you consider putting him up front with Michael Mellon or, or is he just an option off the bench, do you think? No, he, he can play um, off the left, off the right or through the middle. He has uh, got a variety of positions that he can play in and um, you know we can see that he's got speed, he's got strength, he's got a terrific shot on him and uh, he's settled in very well. Someone who maybe has gone under the radar is Stuart Moore in, in goal. Mm. What's your impression of what he's achieved so far? Yeah, I mean, Stuart has come in and uh, he's got a very good presence and I think he's improving uh, game on game. Um, he didn't play a lot uh, over the last number of seasons and uh, we've given him an opportunity, you know, as we did for Conor Ripley. You know, Conor had been out the game uh, with Preston for many years and uh, we gave him an opportunity to come. Stuart's exactly the same. And uh, I think that, you know, both have relished in that opportunity. So with someone like Ethan, that, that loan mentality can really help, do you think, as, I, as they're really trying to prove a point? Yeah, we've got five players that are on loan at this moment in time. And uh, they're all, you know, fighting to start or, um, you know, come off the bench. But they're all involved in the 18-man squad, which is, is really good. The parent clubs uh, are really happy with us because... Um, as we've seen from previous seasons, we give their players an opportunity to play if they're doing well enough uh, and treat them well. You're missing Jan Songo after his red card. You get Michael Mellon back, but you're missing Jan Songo. Mm. How much of a blow is that? Yeah, I mean, it always is because Jan, you know, is a player that uh, plays a pivotal role 
in the team. We've had to play without him before and, uh, you know, had success. And we will, you know, change things around for Saturday. It's the third red card of the season. Is that something you can work on? Does it worry you, that, that potential issue with red cards? It, it does worry me that the, the referees don't get the correct decision. That, that does uh, concern me. And, uh, you know, I said after the game, you know, the one against uh, Gillingham with Michael Mellon shouldn't have been a, a red card. Uh, Rawson wasn't a red card either because the foul uh, was really soft uh, for that yellow card. Uh, Jans, uh, it probably was a red card because it was two bookings. Yeah, is that a problem when it's two yellows, that with the new regulations, the way the referees are enforcing them, that any other slight lack of you know discipline... Rawson's is a good example, mm. isn't it, where the yellow for the, the handball, is, he's going to get a yellow. Yeah, he, A soft challenge can get interpreted quite strictly, can't it? And you run the risk of a red. Yeah, definitely. And, and you know, we've had to speak to the players, you know, about that because they are clamping down more in descent and uh, uh, kicking the ball away. And, you know, the players get fined their, their weekly wage. They get 10% fine of their weekly wage uh, for that. And, uh, you know, it costs them for... Uh, getting a yellow card because it costs the team, it costs me as a manager uh, and players if they pick up you know, so many bookings then they miss a game or as you say if they pick up a second one then you know, it affects the team. So going back to Forest Green, do you see this as a chance to put behind you the, the poor runner form away from home? I mean the runner form away from home is only there because we've been in League One for uh, the last two seasons and uh, what everyone has to, to remember is we had you know, a very good away record when we got promoted out of League Two into League One. But uh, sometimes, you know, as managers, as staff, as supporters, as media, we all use statistics in the best way it's possible for us to run a story. And uh, that's the, the nature of the business. But it was only a couple of wins away from home last season. And, you know, there were lots of other teams that you were beating comfortably at home mm. last season, weren't you? But away it was different. Yeah, I mean, it always is. And uh, that's just... You know, sometimes that that happens. It's difficult venues we're going to, and uh, when you have, uh, you know, the team at the top of the league with a, a 15 million, 16 million pound budget, and you're at the bottom of the league, so um, there's a bit of uh, a difference there. So Mellon back, Songo missing. Any other absentees? How's Adam Mayer? Adam Mayer's coming along. He's trained today. We'll try and look at him tomorrow. Um, we'll see if Saturday is okay for him, or um, we leave him for the the action game on Tuesday night. And no other problems? No. Get money for your old phone.